Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Marty Schreiber and I am the Chief Medical Officer of Home Dialysis and Pediatrics at DaVita. And as you listen to the next 10 minutes, I want you to be about possibilities for making peritoneal dialysis and home hemodialysis happen for your patients. Begin challenging the status quo today. So let's get started. When I came to DaVita, having spent my career at Cleveland Clinic in June of 2014, I was committed to a new model of home dialysis that was predicated on achieving the best-in-class clinical outcomes, extending the home program into the patient's home through increased connectivity and advancing science uh, and innovation. And if you look at this slide, together we've made it happen through quality advancements. You believed in home and you increase the number of patients that have an opportunity to manage their disease at home by 35% since 2014. You rallied around the idea of considering peritoneal dialysis when patients land in the hospital, unplanned start. And you've increased the number of urgent starts to over 120% per month since 2014. And if we look at hospitalization data for both PD and HHD, and we look, you know, we began reporting it differently in 2016. So if we look at 2016 to 2020, one can see a 15% improvement in PD hospitalizations and an 18% improvement in home hemo. You did it, quality matters, and you made it matter in your practice. We've also, you know, reimagined Home dialysis and the model of care predicated on increased connectivity. You, you leveraged connected cyclers. You ensured that high risk and rising risk patients utilized home remote monitoring. And you really championed the use of the DaVita Care Connect application to really move telehealth forward, especially during COVID and keeping your teammates and your patients safe. In October of 2020 at the ASN, we presented a blood pressure analysis of over 3.5 million readings as we begin to look at how do we optimize risk factor control in the home using biometrics. And then in March of 2021, we presented data on how COVID accelerated the acceptance of virtual health with the DCC app. And over 21,000 of your patients installed it on their phone and you conducted over 63,000 visits during COVID. You made virtual health happen. Virtual health is here to stay. We need to get great at doing it. And in partnering with DaVita Care Clinical Research, we examined a number of impact questions. We reported on them at ASN, at ADC. Uh, and these were topics on peritoneal dialysis, home hemodialysis. We contributed manuscripts, which summarized our work. We partnered with PDOPS to ensure we understand how best to practice uh, PD and what we can learn from around the world. You've made it happen. You've advanced care by advancing science. I'd like to leave our accomplishments for a second and just talk about commitment and vision. And, and everybody realizes that, you know, vision starts with commitment. And in 2018, David, after talking to you, your patients, looking in the literature, felt that at least 25% of patients should be managing their kidney disease in the home. And then a year later, CMS validated that with the Advancing American Kidney Health Initiative, where they projected an aspirational target of 80% of patients receiving a kidney transplant or starting their journey on home dialysis. Change is happening, and we have to challenge the status quo. These aren't just numbers that we talk about. These represent patient lives, and these lives sit on significant investments that DaVita has made in order to make home possible for your patients and for you to provide the very best care. We have two exciting artificial intelligence predictive tools that you can use to identify patients at high risk for loss from PD or patients that have an increased risk for hospitalization. And we're also developing a PD prescription optimization tool leveraging artificial intelligence 
to help you design peritoneal dialysis prescriptions and alert you when they need to be changed. We've added both me, Ron Naljan from LSU and Mark Shapiro from San Diego, experienced nephrologists, to create a physician support network, a physician support network predicated on peer-to-peer -peer interaction to help you overcome barriers in your practice as well as to optimize the quality care you provide. And we're going to talk more about this at the breakout, so um, you know, look forward to hearing about that. We are visual, you know, we have a new vision of the DaVita Care Connect. It's not a tel just a telehealth, telehealth app. It really is a virtual health app. And we're adding new dimensions to it, whether it be e-flow sheets, laboratory da data. We are really creating virtual support groups. And you know, we're, we're helping patients shop in stores by nutritionists. When I get in a store, what do I buy if I have end-stage kidney disease? We are making virtual care real. Chronic disease patients want it, and we're going to make it happen. In transitional care units, we'll have over 100 in, across the United States by the end of the year helping patients individualize how they transition from CKD to ESRD. And we believe that training is absolutely critical. We have to be great at training patients. And leveraging virtual reality, patient training, is something we believe can take us to the new frontier as it relates to how do you educate patients. And we'll be starting those trials later this year. You may sit and you may wonder, wow, how, how do I transition my practice? How do I transform my practice? And transforming the way we practice is tough. But many have made it happen across the United States, whether it's on the east, the west, the north, the south. Each of these circles on this map represents practices that have reached 25% or exceeded 25% total home penetration. You can do it also. And we've learned that there are four action steps that make it real, make it possible. The first is providing patient education for every single patient transitioning from CKD. Kidney Smart is a must. We need to appreciate how important education is and how we would want to be informed and educated if we were facing a life um, a decision. And using Kidney Smart with their new animated, these micro educational videos is powerful. Ask your patients, these matter. And then you can't time when a patient's going to start dialysis, and embedded catheters, PD catheters, are critical in order to make that possible. You want patients to have planned starts, not unplanned starts. You don't want them to crash into the hospital. They need an access today, just like how we have believed in the power of uh, our AV uh, fistulas. And as we think about, you know, organs today, organ preservation, and the brain, people that have strokes that we try to prevent, people that come in with acute coronary syndrome. We have teams. Time is of the essence. Time. We need to have teams that also address the kidney. So it's not just about the brain or the heart. It's about the kidney. What can we do to preserve kidney function? We know that for every cc per mil of GFR, that's critically important. We need to do everything that we can to preserve it. It doesn't stop when a patient starts dialysis. Every patient also deserves to be educated, even if they have an unplanned start and present to the in-center program. Focus on educating patients, helping them be informed so that they and their physicians can make the best decision, even if they hadn't made it before they needed to start dialysis. Focus on conversions. And you'll learn more about these uh, at the breakout, so be sure to attend. I'm going to stop there, and, and I, I really want to share personally where I think home is going. And, you know, while we think about the right therapy for the right patient at the right time, unless we think of home first, we'll never consider it as a possibility for our patients. And we're about possibilities. So as nephrologists, let's make it happen. Let's think home first. As we look across the United States, we need to be really focused on ensuring that race or ethnicity do not interfere with a patient's ability to care for their kidney disease in the home. We have to do away with disparities. And disparities in home are real if you look at the data. We have to change that. Every patient should be considered a candidate for home, if at all possible.
Virtual health is here to stay, and I believe this is the wave of the future. Patients want it, payers want it, and it's a reality, but you only can deliver it if you're really experienced. So experience it, do it, and don't just be good at it, be great at it. Remember that outcomes data matters, uh, and we learned that during COVID. And when you think about your nephrology practice, think about in extending care you know, coordination throughout the community. That's really what it's all about. The surgeon interacting with the hospital, the primary care physician. Make your nephrology position in the community have a significant impact on the treating the disease. Make no mistake about it, it's a new day for home and it's a new day for dialysis. And it's super exciting and we have a vision to make it happen for your practice. So I'd encourage you to attend the uh, breakout session on home with uh, Miran and Mark, and engage your DeVita leaders to learn about those focus areas and how can I take those focus action steps and bring them to my practice. As I close, I just wanna thank you for all that you do for your patients, especially during this historic pandemic, and wish you the very best, uh, and thank you for listening.